Hello adventurers, Bart the Meyer here, coming at you from the arcane anomaly known as the internet. This month I've been playing a ton of Donkey Kong Country games on the Wii U, and in between that and opening up Knuckles and Hearthstone, falling in love with Monkey Jones here on YouTube, of creating videos on the internet! You could say I've had a pretty whacked out month when it comes to primates. So today we're going to talk about a magical gorilla from fantasy called a Goralian to celebrate. I understand that most of you probably aren't in the same monkey mindset as me right now, so to get you into the mood, here's an orangutan using a handsaw, easily one of the raddest and most hardcore things I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at him go. So grab yourself a banana, and let's begin, shall we? Swinging in from the origins in the third edition of D&D, Goralian are super beefed up gorillas with a number of striking characteristics. These include, most notably, a second pair of arms, which they use to walk on along with their legs a pure white coat of fur, and a monstrous height of 8 feet, weighing in at over 800 pounds. This makes him nearly double the size of a typical silverback. These guys can be found in the warm forest and jungles around the world, stalking prey through the trees or in the undergrowth. Out of everything we've covered so far, Goralian are the most animalistic in nature. Truly neutral beast, Goralian live in troops dominated by an alpha male. The only time a Goralian will live alone if it's a male looking to start its own group. This is the same as to how gorilla culture functions in our own world. Another similarity to their real world counterparts is that they are hostile to anything big enough they see as a threat. Fellow Goralian or not. For this reason, anyone exploring a tropical jungle should be on guard for these behemoths. As they can be overly aggressive, often carnivorous, and are extremely strong. An average gorilla is 9 times stronger than an average human. And we've already stated that Goralian are double the size of a silverback gorilla, so along with their extra arms, Goralian can perform some truly devastating feats of strength and violence. Now it is because of this brute strength that Goralian are a favorite beast in societies where gladiator games are held. Few opponents are more powerful and intimidating than these snow white juggernauts. Though the gains of fame and notoriety will be great, one must ask themselves if the risk of being torn to bits by 800 pounds of pure muscle is worth it. In the Pathfinder game, Goralians have been given a bit of a mythical origin. Some ancient art and writing tells of Goralian who were not so beastly in their actions. These legends state that they were once men who called upon demonic forces to give them power, and in return they would give up their humanity. As such, and with each new generation, their humanity became slimmer and their primal rage grew into the beast we now speak of. Some still believe that there are Gralian who have kept their intelligence and their newfound feral instincts living in the world. It's rumored these Gralian would behave much more like gnolls conducting raids on villages for supplies and food since they would have a higher intelligence to actually be able to use these supplies. Some even go as far as to speculate that they've made it with orcs inspiring legends of white four-armed orcs. You may be surprised to see these guys even make an uncredited film debut in the movie John Carter in the arena scene. Though they look quite a bit more alien, they are still very recognizable. I haven't seen the movie myself, but I gotta say, pretty cool clip. Check out it here on the YouTubes. Well that's Gralian for you. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from me, please sub to the channel, and do check out some of the other videos here in the Bestiary series where I talk about all kinds of creatures from fantasy and fiction. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time as always, safe travels, adventure.